I wanted to do a review on this new Ninza indicator that I got recently, the Intraday Adaptive Support and Resistance Indicator. Uh, it's printing these pink dots and these pink and blue lines and bands, giving you some support and resistance levels based on intraday price action. So far I've really been enjoying it. I've thrown it on a system that I already like to use. It's a system with three different Ninza indicators. The Superior RSI, the Easy Trend. With the Easy Trend I've disabled everything except for the bar color and I've changed the EMA to a 21 with a smoothing of a EMA with a 3 period. So the Easy Trend is just printing green candles and red candles, that's it. Uh, the Superior RSI, we have our RSI down here and it also prints a background when it's overbought or oversold. And our Superior MACD indicator that I've loaded. I believe the fast moving average type used to be a HMA, I just changed it to a EMA, but all the numbers are the same. I've taken off a lot of the features of the MACD. Uh, the only thing that the MACD is printing right now is the slowdown condition these green dots and these red dots. So that's the only thing on the chart that the MACD is printing. So I've made everything kind of simple and easy to digest. I can show you what it looks like here. This is all the indicators with the original settings outside of the box. There's just way too much stuff going on. So I like to take my favorite features of each indicator and just make it super simple. Like this is today's price action from Friday, September 23rd. Uh, coming into the pre-market, we're getting some RSI divergence here. You know, price is still low, but the RSI is climbing higher. And then I get a bullish MACD signal. And the easy trend candles turn green. Uh, great place to hop into a long. And it made it up to this next support and resistance line. And ultimately it made it up to the center band on the intraday adaptive support and resistance line. Here we had a couple of RSI overbought areas, but our easy trend candles are still green. Uh, we're not getting any major confirmation to go short until over here. We're, we're butting up against this line, this median line on the intraday adaptive support and resistance indicator but you'll notice our RSI is traveling down, so we're getting some divergence there. So I'm looking for a short trade at this point, and we get a bearish MACD signal print, and eventually their easy trend candles turn red as well. A great place to get in, really anywhere in here. Uh, we could have stops left above this median line, and we get another confirmation from our MACD, printing another bearish signal, Easy trend still red. Uh, we got this red ribbon from the intraday adaptive support and resistance. It's bearish as well. And we make it all the way down to the bottom intraday adaptive support and resistance line. So just some great trading opportunities today. And this is definitely a system I love to trade on a regular basis. I scroll back to yesterday afternoon. We had our easy trend candles coming in red. Intraday ribbon here is red. We've got some red MACD signals printing, prices going down, until we start to get to the bottom of this intraday adaptive support and resistance range. And our RSI is getting oversold here. Uh, we close out of the zone, and we're getting some movement up on the RSI. Definitely looking for longs at this point. And we finally get some easy trend candles turning green. Some great places to take some long trades along the way. And then when we get our overbought RSI backgrounds printing, you'll notice we have Easy Trend still printing green. We've got these bullish MACD dots printing. And we're breaking above this support and resistance on the intraday adaptive support and resistance indicator. So it's definitely keeping us definitely keeping us looking for longs. We have more factors working to our upside versus the downside. But then once it does hit this median line on the intraday adaptive support resistance, we have a great bounce right off that line. You know, prices coming out of our overbought zone here. Some great opportunities to get short there. Here's a little bit earlier in the day. We have our easy trend coming down. Our intraday adaptive ribbon is bearish. 
Uh, great opportunities to get short there. We start getting a slowdown condition on the MACD. We get this green dot printed and we're butting up against this bottom intraday adaptive support and resistance line. Uh, once the candles do turn green on the easy trend, we got some nice opportunities for longs there. Got some confirmation from our MACD printing bullish. Uh, this was yesterday pre-market. Uh, here we're breaking above this support and resistance line on the intraday adaptive support and resistance indicator. And we got our easy trend turning green. Definitely some good long opportunities until we get to this overbought area on the RSI. We'll probably be looking to get out around there. And eventually when price breaks down below this support and resistance line here, our easy trends turning red. We also get some MACD confirmation here. Uh, some great short opportunities there. Right before the market opened, we get a nice bounce off this support and resistance line. And now we're outside of the oversold region, but things are still looking bearish. We have bearish easy trend candles and we're getting a bearish MACD signal printed. When we start closing down below the center line again, some great places to get short. Here's some London session action if you trade that time frame. We're getting some bullish MACD signals. Our easy trend is green. Uh, we cross above this median line on the intraday adaptive support and resistance. Uh, definitely some great places to get long there. Although I'm probably going to be looking to get out as soon as I get too many of these overbought areas on the RSI. Uh, over here you'll notice we're up near this high on the intraday adaptive support and resistance indicator and price is moving higher and our RSI is coming down. We're getting some divergence on the RSI. So when price did close out of this zone, I'd probably be looking for a short there. And it came right back down to this median line and just hovered there for a while. So these support and resistance lines have been working out really well. Now our easy trend candles are turning red and we're breaking below the center line here. We're having our ribbon turn pink and red. Some great opportunities for short. We get some more confirmation from our MACD signal keeping us looking for shorts here even though we're entering into this RSI overbought. If you watched one of my previous videos on the counter trend trading system you don't want to enter into a trade right when these backgrounds print. You want to wait till the background zone is done printing before you think about getting into a counter trend trade because often when the RSI enters overbought or oversold it'll just continue in the same direction for a while. And you can see our easy trend and our MACD is keeping us looking for shorts here. Uh, here's some Asian session trading. If you trade that time frame, we've got our easy trend printing green candles. We've got all this MACD. We've got our ribbon blue on the intraday adaptive support and resistance. And we keep moving up nicely. And we have some great opportunities for longs there. Our RSI is entering overbought territory, but our candles are still green. We're still getting MACD signals printing green. But up here you'll notice we're hitting the top of this intraday adaptive support and resistance area and price has moved higher and our RSI is moving lower. There's some divergence there for sure. So taking a bounce trade off of this upper intraday adaptive support and resistance line would be a great trade. And then when we get our easy trend candles turning bearish, also some more shorting opportunities. It comes right down to this middle line on the intraday adaptive support and resistance indicator and bounces. You see how it's honoring these support and resistance lines very well. And then when we finally do break below the center line, our ribbon starts changing color. And we got some great shorting opportunities there. And then when we exit our oversold area on the RSI, you know, we can start looking for longs potentially at that point. Here's the New York Open again. Uh, you see we're in a downtrend on our intraday adaptive indicator. Got our ribbon pink and red. We have red easy trend candles, some great short opportunities there. Then we get a RSI oversold condition and we get a candle that prints outside of the zone. Uh, we do start getting easy trend candles printing green. We get a green MACD marker print. Got some great opportunities for longs here. And then we get an RSI overbought background printing. We've got green easy trend candles still. We're getting green MACD markers print. 
only up here when price is moving higher and our RSI is moving lower and we're getting some divergence would I be looking for a short there I love the RSI divergence trades so hopefully you get some benefit from seeing how I use some of these different indicators and different systems one of the main things I really like about Ninja indicators is that you can customize them so much to fit your own personal trading style because ultimately it doesn't matter what works for someone else you really have to find something that works for yourself and you have to be testing it, back testing it, trading it every day for yourself and seeing that it works over and over. Something that gives you enough confidence to take trades on a regular basis. Something that's giving you a definite trading edge. And that's just such a personal issue. It's something you really have to find out for yourself. But hopefully watching the ideas that I have and the ways that I use these indicators is helpful. <laughs>